Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom Time. Welcome back to more Manhattan Time! In the last episode, we did some more things around Deadbird Studios after messing around in the time rift for a bit. And we almost got murdered in a non-murder movie film. I need to stop saying murder like the conductor while not trying to use the accent. I'm sorry, it's very catchy. Okay, I'm putting on my hookshot badge because we're going to need it coming up because we got a whole new section of the ship to explore. Including a new level called Alpine Skyline. Now, there's a lot I can tell you about Alpine Skyline, but I think we'll wait until we actually get into the meat of the place before I talk about it. Uh, we got a hookshot target over there. Uh, now, most of this area is, well, um, we got a chair over here, and looks like we have something over here that we might be able to enter sooner or later. But not for now. We also have something over here that, well, um, we can use our Forest Dweller's eyes to uh, get rid of that. And we got a Time Rift in here, as well as another Relic Pedestal. Also, we have another place that's going to be available after we collect 20 more Time Or not 20 more, but 20 Time Pieces. Excuse me. We'll get to there eventually, when we do. But first and foremost... We need to go check out Alpine Skyline, because that's the newest place that's opened up to us. Got a big old furnace over here. Looks spooky. That's where the bad bunnies go. Because if you don't bow down and sing the bunny song, you're a bad bunny. Seriously guys, watch VeggieTales. It was awesome. Okay, I'll shut up and stop uh, propagandaing you. We see that things look a little different here. This is our first example of a free roam level. Welcome to Alpine Skyline. Here we are in a pretty cold looking region, not gonna lie. Well, I mean, if it is alpine, then I assume it's like got something to do with mountains, so. And mountains are generally associated with being cold and unpleasant and. big. Um, but yeah. We got our work cut out for us right now. We've got a clear place that we need to get going to, and that is down there. Why, why the heck am I pointing down there? That should not be pointing down there. Um, we got a bench here we can sit on if we wanted, but, okay, seriously, why is my hat guiding me down there? It really shouldn't be. There should be a place where it should be guiding me, and it is clearly not. Huh. Have they opened the gate yet? Something tells me they probably opened the gate. Okay, let's go. So, yeah. We're... In case it isn't obvious, you need the hookshot badge before coming here first. Uh, these are gonna fall away, aren't they? Oh, even better. Spider jump scares. Uh, Arachnophobia warning, mind you. Uh, do I have the magnet badge turned on? Yes, I do. Okay. I knew it! I knew things were gonna start crumbling away! Which is why nothing crumbled away yet. waiting for it. I know it's coming. Okay, no, that's a spooter. Any more spooters want to show up? I see that spooter line. Okay. Yeah, you can see them uh, by... There's usually a little uh, tell. Like, there's a little gossamer greenish thread that you can see hanging. That's usually how you, I tell when they're there. Oh! Look! A grave! Let's whack it! And things continue to get ominous as we continue to, to face the graves. Why are things getting so ominous? I thought we were already done with the ominous level. Wasn't that subcon forest? 
Oh no, just a clothesline. And now, get ready. Welcome to the real Alpine Skyline. and then we come to a surprisingly really chill and really wonderful sounding level. I love the change in atmosphere that they do to make you feel uneasy at first, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything's like really bright and colorful. Welcome, young one. Speaking of things I really want, it's still not here. Shit. I thought by now we'd have access to the third badge slot, but oh well. Uh, I guess I need either more pawns, more... I don't know, I need more something, but most importantly, I need more time stop yarn! 32 yarn! And how much yarn do I currently have? Oh, nine. Yeah, there's a reason why they made this one hard to get, because it is objectively the most useful and wantable and Wanting to obtain... It's the best hat in the game. Put plain and simply. Blow those horns to open up some new roots. Can I just say, also, the, the inhabitants of this area are adorable? Maybe not the big goat people. Hi. Uh, I didn't mean it. Look, you're adorable in your own little way. It just, OW! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but yeah. The goats, you stand in their way, they'll knock you around, but for the most part, they're not bad people. Why don't we blow the horns ourselves? Up this high, the air is really thin. It's hard for us to take deep enough breaths. It doesn't seem to bother you, though. Okay, well, let's give this horn a big ol' how this level works because it's not obvious uh there are a whole bunch of like little uh platformish areas around here and like sky islands and we basically have to um this is the central hub of them what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going around and uh hitting up all the main places um i think i want to start uh going to the north first to the big windmill i forget how we get over there i want to no that's the birdhouse uh that's the lava cake. There's the windmill. I want to start by going over this way. I'll get into more detail about how these work later, but... Yeah. Uh, we can use these to uh, get a closer look at things. 
freaking love the atmosphere of this area. It's just so bright and colorful. Now, there are two ways that we can go here. Uh, make sure... When the, well, actually, no, there's not, but but some of the, um... So, so it'll tell you automatically when you arrive in a new location what's in the area. All we have here is a horn, so let's go and find it. Okay, as I was saying, uh, so on some of those uh, little zip lines, uh, we're gonna have to, there'll be forks in the zip line that we have to choose which direction we want to go. We didn't have one this time, but in the future we will. Okay. Quickly making our way up here. I think we'll probably end off by the time we get to the windmill, because just getting there is going to be a problem. Because of how long it's going to take us to get there. Uh, what they don't show you is um, how many like pieces of yarn or collectibles are in the area. They will show you if there are treasure chests on those uh, little um, information thingies when you show up. But aside from that, they won't show you anything else. <laughs> okay. All right. Eh. Get squashed. You get squashed too. Also, you sleepy raccoon thing that always tries to be all innocent and stuff. You get squashed as well. Everybody who opposes me will get squashed on my way up to the big windmill. I'm going to that windmill and no one is going to stop me. Uh, okay, that's how I get over here. Now then, uh, I'll end off by going over there because it looks like that's sort of like an area that I can't get back from very easily. Yeah, Alpine Skyline is a great and wonderful level. And did you know it almost wasn't in the game? Yeah, the original final level of Hat and of a Hat and Time was going to be called Sand and Sails. Um, it was going to be sort of similar. You would uh, basically be gliding around a huge open uh, desert area on some sort of... Uh, I forget, but you'd be riding around with some sort of sail craft. And you would use that to get forward uh, and explore the area. In fact, there is some, still some music in the beta for what Sand and Sails would have sounded like. It almost made the cut. That's why in most of the promotional art, you can see a huge desert area on the planet and not Alpine Skyline. But unfortunately for um, Sand and Sails, something changed very late in development and decided to go with Alpine Skyline instead. So yeah, Sand and Sails is nothing but a dream right now. And speaking of nothing but a dream, I dream that I won't have to come back here because that was... Yeah, we're not coming back to that island ever again because there's nothing else for us over there. And if there is, well, then I don't care. Also, if you ever want to go back to that, uh... Brain. If you ever want to go back to the area where the Tower of the Goats was, I don't think you can actually get back there. But not a huge, not a huge deal since there, I don't think there's actually anything there for you to collect or something. So, yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, Alpine Skyline is huge. It is a huge and massive level. You're going to be doing most of your work just getting around the place. <clears throat> okay. Look at them big old goats. Hello, big old goat boy! Alright, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. Get my Forest Dwellers mask out. And don't mind me, just gonna do this. And then this. And, oh, a treasure chest! Another Time Stop yarn! Hooray! Now I only need, like, 30-something more. Okay, uh, but yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and hit that, uh, frost switch thingy now, because that's the one thing I haven't done yet. Boing! There we go. This one leads to a horn. You can just see it. I, uh, well, I could look for it, or I could go over there. I think I will do the latter. 
Yeah. So here we have a curly tail horn. Okay. Now I think we're gonna get into some of the most annoying enemies coming up. I went up ahead and scratched slightly. Yep. Here come probably the most annoying enemies in the game. I know you're around here somewhere. Aha! I see you. Lazy paws. You basically can't attack them until they make themselves visible. Which is annoying. And sometimes they can even swipe your hat. Again, most annoying enemy in the game. I know there's going to be another one. I know it. I just know it. Probably up here. I'm waiting for it. You see, I'm not going to let my guard down, because when I do, that's when it's going to happen, and I'm going to lose my hat or something really important. But whatever, I don't even think I can attack them until they make themselves visible. Which sucks. Speaking of sucking, uh, there we go. Couldn't find my way over there for a minute. Okay, there's definitely one over here. Yep! Come on, attack me! There you go, and now you're dead. I really wish there was a way you can attack them before they pop out or whatever, but... I don't think there is a way. Um, okay. Yeah, there, there's the instances of them taking your hat, which... Luckily, at, at least they're easy enough to get, get back once they start revealing themselves more. But they're still very annoying, and I don't like them. Okay. Okay, Curly Tail Horn is complete. We're getting out of here. We're never coming back to this area. I don't want to ever have to deal with Lazy Paws again, which unfortunately I'm definitely going to have to because I remember hating their appearances throughout the latter portions of the game. All right. Okay. And now, give me that hook shot. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. If nothing else, at least this level has a really feel-good atmosphere. Okay. Now, we should be approaching the windmill now. We should almost be there. In fact, I think this will be the one that basically gets us to the location. Now, it's going to take a bit of time to climb that windmill, if I remember right, so... is huge. Oh, it must be an unvoiced place. An unvoiced character, you know what that means. Future Sean's gonna take care of it. <laughs> Have fun, Future Sean. I know you love voicing these characters' voices, so now you get to do a voice for that this character. Place is huge. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Alright. We'll at least get to the windmill this episode. And maybe explore around the outside of it. Because I remember there being something extremely annoying around the outside. Don't get me wrong, I freaking love this windmill, but there is something outside it that I absolutely hate. Which I'm probably not going to be able to do because we have to go at least a little bit inside before we can find that. Okay, fine. Well, we'll worry about that next time. I wonder, do you have a badge pin for me now? No, you don't. Okay, well, I'm not buying your crappy badges, so... Scooter badge is nice, but... Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait on that a bit longer. Next time on A Hat in Time, uh, you know what? I'm gonna turn this on. I recommend, uh, yeah, if you can have all three badges on, I'd recommend your Hookshot badge first and foremost because you're gonna need it. The Hover badge and the non No Bonk badge. I'm gonna go with No Bonk just to be sure, but yeah. I, I, I need to start, I need to focus and continue on epi ending the episode. Next time on A Hat in Time, we check out this massive windmill. See you guys next time. Laters!